So I'm sure a lot of you have seen the classic film Watership Down, and if you haven't seen it, well I'm sure nearly all of you would have at least heard about it. You know, the animated film released in 1978, which had a lot of controversy surrounding it on the account of its U rating, which means suitable for all ages, despite, you know, featuring numerous scenes of cute little bunny rabbits being ripped to shreds, and even a swearing seagull. Piss off! Well, it had been announced that the BBC would be doing a remake of this classic film, and a few days ago we got a glance at it with a short trailer they released. So let's have a look, shall we? Okay, so the opening shot looks interesting. I'm assuming this is the scene where Fiverr starts to hallucinate about the Warren being filled in, and we're seeing all the other rabbits trying to escape. So at least we're going to get some fresh childhood trauma, which is actually good. I mean, you can't do a Watership Down remake if you're not going to put in a good dose of child trauma. Mommy! Either. You're having another one of your nightmares, brother. Whoa, that doesn't look very good at all. I mean, first up, his body and head look completely different in CGI quality. The body looks fine, the fur is nicely detailed, but the head just looks like it's been stuck on from another model entirely. Or it just hasn't been rendered yet. The fur is nowhere near as detailed as the body, and it looks blotchy in colour. And those eyes look so... derpy. They're not even focused on the same point. Let's keep looking. Hazel, you have to believe me. Something will come to this place. Okay, so the backgrounds do look fairly well detailed, but the colouring just seems a little too saturated. It looks a little too green and cartoony, which really makes the darker toned rabbits pop out from it. We'll come to this place. We can Though this shot does look really nice probably because the colours have been brought down to a more natural level. We can leave now, or we can be destroyed with it. Okay, and this is a clear replica of the scene where Fiverr starts envisioning the blood running down the hills, which again, I'm happy to see them include, but it does look a little lacklustre, especially when you compare it to the original animation. It can be destroyed with it. Good heavens. I, I mean, good gracious. I mean... Ah, that didn't seem very funny. And that's the joke they cherry picked for the trailer. And I hate the way it awkwardly jump cuts to five a sign in order to emphasize the joke. It kind of just makes it feel forced. And that exaggerated facial expression from this rabbit, compared to the other facial expressions which have been pretty neutral in the trailer so far, it just really doesn't seem to fit with the Watership Down vibe. Really hope they don't try and make this a comedy filled with quick whips and forced punchlines. Voice cast looks fine, I guess. I'm just glad that it hasn't got James Corden in it, who seems to be cast in almost everything these days. All the world will be your enemy. And when they catch you, they will kill you. But first, they must catch you. Everyone run! Okay, I'm liking how they're including the iconic line that we hear at the beginning of the original film. All the world will be your enemy. And whenever they catch you, they will kill you. But first, they must catch you. I have no idea who this raptor claw belongs to. Might be Wound War, but I swear in the original he never had this feature. You have fought so hard to earn your freedom. But now... Big Wig actually looks pretty good. You recognise his tuft of hair from the original film? You will find the outsiders. And when you do, we will destroy their world and leave no trace of them on this earth. General Woundwort himself sounds good, though I doubt they can make him as intimidating as he was in the original. Don't give up yet. There's still hope. Oh, there's good old Kiha. Hope he doesn't swear too much. Okay, so what are my thoughts? Well, it's not exactly blowing me away or getting me hyped. I think the main issue I'm having here is just the quality of the CGI. I'm not gonna lie, 
It looks pretty damn awful for something that was made in 2018. Like I said, the bodies look fine, but the heads and facial animations just look weird. How the characters move as well feels very basic and scripted, like watching these rabbits climb up the wall, or this rabbit running across the field. It looks too smooth and they're not properly interacting with their environment. There's no weight to the characters whatsoever. I mean, perhaps it's still in its early stages? When's, the, when's this set to release? Uh, da, da, da. 22nd of December. Fuck. There's no way the animation will improve by then. And yeah, the original film didn't exactly have the highest budget either, and the animation was limited in places, but with 2D animation, they made it work. The limited animation gave the rabbits a more realistic movement, and the rough, unpolished design of the characters made it look more gruesome when they were getting injured. Not to mention that the original did actually play with a lot of different styles as well. But this is just looking very... Meh. And to be honest, seeing such a lacklustre effort put in, at least on the animation side, I don't know why the BBC even bothered trying to remake this in the first place. Oh, wait, yes I do. For money. I must admit, I'm not a huge fan of this recent trend of companies remastering classic 2D animations into CGI remakes, but at least with the recent Lion King trailer, the CGI does look impressive. I just don't see what this 2018 version of Watership Down can offer over the original, other than, oh, it's 3D now, so I guess it's better. I don't know what age rating this one will have either, but I'm guessing it will be a U or a PG rating, which by today's standards, you can't have the controversial violence that they managed to get away with back in 1978. The only thing they can really do different is with the story and the characters. But from what we've seen so far, it just looks like a simple retread of the old narrative. And to be honest, with the animation looking that poor, it's going to be hard to get sucked into a story as our characters just don't look very believable. I don't know, probably being a bit too harsh on this one, and it is only the trailer, but I really did love the original film, and to see it get turned into this CGI mess where seemingly little effort has gone into, it just feels like a huge middle finger. But what do you guys think? I'd like to see what your thoughts are on this new trailer. Does it look bad? Or am I being a bit too harsh? Are you going to be watching the full thing when it comes out? I personally will be watching the full thing and will most likely be doing a review on it. So do subscribe if you want to stick around for that. But I guess until the next one guys, take care.